Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm just leaving my RV spot in Lano at the RV park, and we're going to drive down here by the Lano River and turn around. But what I'm going to talk about in this video, I want to cover a little bit about extended warranties. This is not the end all of extended warranties, but it'll spur your thinking about the, those things. But anyway, have I ever had an extended warranty on any RV I've ever owned? The answer, yes. I had a, a kit, uh, like a 19-footer, and uh, I bought it, I got it used, and it had a seven-year extended warranty uh, from a group out of Florida. I can't remember their names, but uh, it was in about the third year of the warranty, and it worked for me because later on, about fourth year and the fifth year, I had to replace the air conditioner, the roof AC, which was expensive, and it was covered. I had a small deductible, I think it was $200. Anyway, and then, um, <clears throat> and then I had to replace the refrigerator, which was another expensive item. So yeah, it worked for me, and it, it was a transferable warranty. So if you buy an RV that has an extended warranty, be sure that that warranty can be transferred to the new buyer yourself. And then what else can I tell you about extended warranties? Well, uh, one thing is for sure, <coughs> if you buy the extended warranty when your RV is new or your vehicle, if it's a car, if you buy the extended warranty when it's new, uh, then it's much cheaper. The reason it's much cheaper is that the first year the extended warranty company basically gets a free ride. Why? Because every, nearly everything is covered for the first year by different warranties on the RV particularly, and uh, so you're not going to have be out of pocket probably anything the first 12 months. After that, however, welcome to the world. And uh, how much does an extended warranty cost? Well, I'll give you an example. I'm buying a $60,000 Four Winds 22E Class C. It's brand new, zero miles. I'll pick it up in November. And I've gotten two quotes from extended warranty companies. Uh, one is Good Sam and the other one is, I can't remember the name of it. I didn't write it down. But anyway, it's another company in there. I got some highly rated companies. Good Sam's about number three and there's two above it. Uh, but be that as it may, they were both within a ten dollars uh, uh, total because uh, they, you know, what, what they they use like actuarial tables to come up with the uh, the rates. If a particular group of RVs or manufacturer is having some serious issues, then they're going to rate them higher, just like insurance companies do on uh, life insurance. In other words, if you're a smoker versus a non-smoker. Uh, you get a lower rate as a, as a non-smoker because they know that smokers die younger. <coughs> but the same way works with extended warranties on vehicles and RVs because they know after a period of months, years, etc., their statistics start to show where the weak, weak links are and where they're spending their money and, and on what types of issues they're, they're spending it on. So you can check uh, you'll know whether you're getting a quality RV or a reasonably good quality RV by the rate that you're quoted. I mean, I, I compared my quotes on my Thor Four Winds manufactured by Thor Manufacturing to a Winnebago, and uh, the rates were within 10% of exactly the same. The Winnebago was a little bit less but the unit that I was comparing it to, the Four Winds 2, was a little smaller unit. I'm not sure if that made any difference. I, I don't know. So, as far as quality, uh, that's kind of an imaginary issue. Uh, I, you know, it just depends on the, on the day that your unit is built and how the guys felt when they were putting it together, you know, or what crew you got. But Again, a lot of people will disagree with me on that, but that's all right. I'm, I'm used to that. But another way that you can check whether your extended warranty is a good one or a bad one before you buy it 
is to contact an RV dealer, service department, service manager, and just ask them. Say, look, uh, I've got, you can tell them you have it or you can tell them you're thinking about getting, say, a good SAM extended warranty. Number one, do you honor those? And number two, uh, do they pay well? I mean, do they pay like a clock or do they drag their feet? Are you glad to have them in your in your service bays or not? Because uh, a service manager is going to know which of these extended warranty companies drags their feet when they pay and they're hard to deal with because, see, they've got to get approval from that extended warranty company before they can do the work because that they want to be sure they're paid for the number of hours labor and materials that, that it's going to take to get the job done sometimes the warranty company will say no we're only going to pay you xyz and they have to haggle but just remember check with the uh, rv service departments in your area and just ask you know that's a good way to find out and if you want to find out whether you're getting a good or a bad rv if it's a new one or even a used one uh, compare the prices of two or three extended warranties and see uh, what, what, they, what the differences are because uh, if, you, if you're buying a, and here's something else, with a used unit, I'll add this, they're not, you're not just going to do that over the internet. I mean, if you've got a four-year-old unit that you want to get a, uh, an extended warranty on and it's a full coverage deal where they're going to coverage a lot of parts that wear out and so forth, then uh, they may and probably will ask you to take it in somewhere for an inspection before they'll cover it. So just keep that in mind also. Not a big problem, but just be aware of it. But yeah, if you get the uh, extended warranty when it's new, like for my extended warranty on the uh, Four Winds 22E, manufactured by Thor, $60,000 unit, no slides, and that makes a difference because they do have problems with slides. But with no slides, it'll cost me $19 a month for for four years, which is, comes out to round numbers of $1,000. Okay, you can I think you can pay like $850 uh, in one lump to save any uh, fees for the monthly payment thing. But yeah, but th that's four years. They also make a seven-year extended warranty. But when you start going out seven years, you, you got to know the price is going to go up. It goes up by about 50%. All right, And uh, the reason is, obviously, everything's wearing out. But one thing good about uh, Good Sam is uh, they cover the roof on RVs from normal wear. In other words, when the, they'll pay up to $5,000 if your roof just wears out on its own. In other words, it doesn't have to be hail damage or whatever if, as if it develops some problems just from wear over a period of, in, in, in some cases, seven years, then they'll pay up to $5,000. And I think $5,000 ought to just about cover it on a roof. It depends on how big the unit is and all that stuff, what type of roof, and blah, 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 blah. But another issue that occurs to um, a, a lot of RVs not a lot. I'm not going to say that that's a hasty generalization, but <clears throat> delamination. And a lot of people are paranoid about that. Don't be, because you can look. I mean, I, I walked through the RV park this morning, and I was just looking at some of the older units that are in there, say, 8 or 10 years old. And uh, th there's, there's no delamination. There, there's delamin there was delamination on one of them, and it was a travel trailer, an older model, and it was in the very front where there was no window and it was, it was delaminated in the front pretty bad actually but whenever you buy an rv now chances are 99 times out of 100 you're not going to notice any delamination at delivery of a new rv why well because they do some kind of inspections before they ship them out and then the dealer gets them and they look at them too so by the time the customer gets there to inspect their new unit it's uh, if there were any issues they've already rolled them out or done something to cover them up so you don't notice them and don't think they don't do that but yeah this is the highway that goes out towards Cherokee Texas on highway 16 going north and I'm just piddling for a Sunday morning drive may go out by the airport but yeah for, for you guys that are buying a new RV extended warranties may or may not be a good deal depending on how you feel and also it depends on how handy you are in other words uh, you know, to replace a hot water heater is not a big deal, 
Okay, you can do that. And a roof AC, if you have two people, uh, you can do that. You know, it, it's not that complicated. You can watch a YouTube video and do it. And uh, so, yeah, if you if you're handy and you've got some help and the tools and whatever, yeah, hell yeah. You know, forget the extended warranty. Go for it. But, but again, just uh, you know, check with some RV dealers and service departments and say, look, do, do these does this is this extended warranty? Does it even work? I mean, have they have they ever paid? So, but four years. See where they get you is they've got four year and seven year plans or or short period and long period plans. Where they get you is is. Uh, nothing's really going to happen seriously till after four years all right because the refrigerator will last four years or more the uh, ac is going to last four years or more the water heater is right on the verge of going out about four or five years six years if you get six years out of rv uh, water heater you're you're pretty lucky because they're made out of aluminum there it's not good metal and uh you know, most people like me, you know, you got to take, you're supposed to drain them and all that stuff. I, I, I don't do that. I forget. But so the big items are the AC and the refrigerator. And uh, they, they may, they're going to last past that long period, that short period. And, and, and believe me, these uh, extended warranty people know that. And, and that's why when you go to the extended, really the seven year deal, that's why the price jumps up because they know they're going to have, for, they could. Probably not. See, they and then why did they pick seven years, four and seven, or, or in that range? Well, because they know that's where their numbers are the best. You know, th these people are in business, okay? And they got all the numbers, you know, from all the manufacturers, all the repair jobs that they've done, da 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 da, da and they've got their numbers, man. They know, they know where the problems are happening at what and in what year. Well, you know, why don't they go to ten years? Well, I can tell you why, because they know they fall apart. <laughs> You know, they know by then they're in the junkyard, you know, or they got a window AC and the guy's got a wood burning fireplace or something. But anyway, guys, I'm out here by the airport now in, in Atlanta, Texas, just driving around. Got a few cars parked here. I don't know why we got so many. Well, there's there's a, let's see, what else is out here? They got this, there's something here besides just the airport, I think. We got a lot of cars parked here. That means that somebody has flown somewhere and uh, left their car. I ain't thought about, you know, chartering an airplane to fly me to, to uh, Alvarado. And uh, I don't know what time this place opens or if it's even open now, but this is the airport in Lano, Texas. But anyway, yeah, but to do that, you gotta pay by the hour and it's prop time. Okay, the, the, every, for every second the prop is turning, you're paying for it. And it's about a hundred dollars an hour, you know, and to go to to uh, f take me up to El Varado and get me close to the dealership to the nearest little county airport, uh, you're looking at geez, four hundred bucks or more. But I think I got somebody that's going to take me up there. I'm eating some dark chocolate. I hear you. Shouldn't have done it, but I just had to bite, take a bite out of it. Anyway, guys, from near Lano out the airport on a Sunday morning. This is Rusty78609 talking about extended warranties. And uh, I, I, this, this video is just to stimulate your thinking. You know, I'm not an authority on extended warranties. I'm just giving you some of the facts that will help you uh, make a good decision on which company to go with if you choose to buy one. Because common sense would tell you to check with the service department and see what, whether these guys will even do the work uh, for the company that you're dealing with. You know, they may say, look, no, we dealt with them before. We don't, we don't do their work anymore because they don't pay. You know, you may find that out right up front. And uh, yeah, so be sure you, you got one. And also check with these, uh, you can check with these people, these RV service guys that do uh, like home repair, you know, where they come to your site and see if they'll do it. I mean, I found a guy in, uh, that was, I, I was near Waco at that time at RV Park, and I found a guy in Waco that uh, that worked with these warranty companies. He came out and did the AC, and later on he came back and did the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And they paid him direct. 
I didn't pay him nothing. But anyway, guys, from Highway 16 now, Central Texas, Rusty 78609, saying thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want. If you think about it, use the Amazon link. And for those of you that are interested, you can check out the Patreon thing. Somebody asked me this morning, what is it? I don't really know. Uh, all I know is there's a lot of YouTube creators use it. And uh, so uh, it, it's a simple way if you want to help uh, participate in the channel or do something. I mean, there's all kinds of things. You can go to the, just click on that link and go there. It, it, it'll they'll, they'll tell you all about it. Patreon. And then, uh, of course, the Amazon link. Drink plenty of water, stretch walk, keep your health. You know, it's Sunday morning, I feel good. And uh, I would have gone triking, but it was a little bit warm. And it's getting warmer. It's going to be about 90 today or a little more. So, but yeah, keep your health. Stand guard at the door of your mind. And uh, adios, bye-bye, aloha, hasta luego, vaya con Dios. But it is a pretty day in Central Texas. I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not, it's your choice. Turn it around, babe. Adios. Bye-bye.